What's up everybody? Welcome to part two of why Ash was born in Sinnoh. Okay, so Ash and Don just got their gym match. As you can see, Ash's team, him as um, and Don's team has come with Piplup, Buneary, he and a Badoo. So, nothing big would change throughout the next couple episodes until Gardenia. The only, the only way they meet her is by he don't letting out her Budu and Gardenia hugging it, and then because it arose by friendship, her, she has now a Ro Roselia her, as Don and Ash her sh she will want to battle her, 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 but her, since, since she fell with Don's Roselia, her, her, she can battle first. Ash is very disappointed, but she thinks, but he thinks, um, I can get some practice out of this. As Don will lead out with his Piplup, as it goes for water gun, it will just, was back Sharon, um, as it goes for a uh, Zob, as Pitlow was able to dive out of the way, he then go for a peck, able to do some big damage, as it, as Sharon able to hit, hit with a Zob, able to heal back off the health, who then doing over double for damage, which Pitlow did, and even one shot in it, hit, hit, as Ash will call out, you should have took my training, as Don would just kind of look in disappointment and and fear what's to come next out of her. As she, he, he was said now, who, Beniri, what, what, what would use that ice punch out to her belly, he injure Cherim. As it goes for her, a poison powder, able to poison Beniri, as Beniri, he, he will go for a headbutt, able to push back Cherim. Um, as it goes for a Zob, able to able to do a more damage to uh, um, Baneri, as Poison's already withering it down. As it goes for Ice Beam, able to finish it off. As Turtwin will come out, who as it's able to be a double knockout, as uh, as Poison will finish it off during the Ice Beam. As Rose Red versus Rose Celia. Uh, 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 Don will lose after a little bit since it's the pure, since it's the evolved version. Uh, as Gardena will say, look, you can battle me here the next day because I have a few more challenges after your friend there. Uh, uh, and also, here's a shining stone to help you evolve your rose, rose into a rose raid. He'd... Hid as Don will be so grateful who as Ash and all know a strategy. So Ash is up next. First he'll send now Gibble for his her cherum. And Gibble who would be able to her easily go for a bite, catch in its mouth, then go for a drink or meet you. Uh, pardon me. Hey, hey, as that as as it's Gibble is still pretty strong. And she's, she decides to send out Roselia to finish it off. But that's not before it goes for a dragon rush able to knock it down to its feet. Then almost being able who to to send to launch it up into a Draco Meteor. She'll return, then send out Turtwig. Hig. As Turtwig were rushing for a headbutt, her Gibber was able to go for a dragon claw able to knock it back. Hit, hit, hit. As it goes for a raise leave, they able to badly injure her Gibble as it goes for a takedown. As Gibble was able to catch in its mouth, then go for a Draco Meteor. But her territory will evolve into Grotto, who able who who to give it enough energy he to survive. So now, who Grotto will go for another headbutt as it's able to put down Gibble with the extra power. As Ash Hush will next send out who looks you be here with that her being in pretty powerful who because it has a new move who fire fang as it's able to her uh, uh, go for fire fang and able to finish off Grotto because Gibble we can it and out enough as Rose Ray will come back out as able to put a poison powder as Ash realizes how dangerous it is so who who as 
a few turns in, Ash will go for five and then as his Gardena will all the Rosary to to catch it with a power whip as it as it slams it against the ground, able to knock out who Lucio. As Rioli will come out and go for Orisphere, able to knock out who who rolls raid sorry if so like for back and falls and knock on that's just how it goes who's who's so the next day appears his first his dawn whom we actually send now who Baneri first as it's able to clear everything up with a her ice beam because ash has helped dawn teach it to have a bit more power in in a pokemon as grotto <coughs> Who will come out and go for a razor leaf? He's able to put down Baneri onto the floor as it evolves into Lob Punny and able to learn high jump kick. But Grodder was able to who go for a dig, able to uh, lo Lob Punny here be put down fast to the ground as it bursts back up. He then goes for her a Giga Drain, able to badly injure her. Who lop on it as it goes for a ice beam, able to bring back that damage back, but still very weakened. As it goes for her a takedown, able to finish off lop on it. So next, she'll send out Pimp Lop, hope as her as Gorda would just instantly go for a Giga Drain as. Piplum was able to glide through the air, land on his back, and able after five minutes of just pecking, and since Gardenia keeps on order to go for synthesis. After a little bit, he, he, Piplum was able to finish it off. Her, next is her Rose Raid, he, as Piplum will go, can only hit one. Um, him pet before it's able to be taken up by a Giga Drain as Dawn's Roll Ray Rolls Array will come out. As it as it's a as it's an intense battle who since his it has his a little less his energy here because of um who needing to deal with pit look just a little bit. He Dom was able to win. As Gardemia will say, I think you'll be perfect contest because in my timeline she doesn't know. As her shield introduces Dom into contest, as that's what she wants to do now. Who, who but still wants to become strong. And as Ash will agree with it, he and um, we can always practice training and learn some skills for you. So yeah. Here. So after they beat Gardemia, <coughs> Gardemia, who they'll they'll just be strolling out with their Pokemon, um, as ba as they meet up with Barry, who, as they just had a conversation, um, conversation about what they've been doing. That's when the next day arrives. And a thunderstorm is approaching, and as people are recommending to stay inside a Pokemon Center, as that's when they see a dark figure shaped like something, and, and Ash would know it's that does everyone, as everybody will rush out with their Pokemon, and kind of like a raid battle, who. As Zapdos was able to put them them down one by one, when it's only just Ash, Storm, and Barry left. So, who Barry was sending out his Monferno, Ash was sending out who his Luxio, who as his Storm was sending out who her Lopunny, since it's probably her best Pokemon for electric types. One get knocked out each by each, each as uh, um, Lutzio was able to take a full thunder, able to charge in it up. That weakens Zapdos with how much energy it puts in it. Now it flies off, and now we have a new problem. Lutzio is just attacking everything and everywhere. They don't know what to do, who to stop it, as that's when they... He have to he send out all of their Pokemon and just to defeat it. He, as that's when Paul will say, hmm, you're pretty strong there. He, as they, as he'll just leave, he because he already beat Gajimia. He, he, so yeah.
as the Blazel thing was still who come still were happening, as Ash would take his chances by sending out for Lutzio, who as Lutzio would start to hit everywhere, as well make some blitz so mad, but Blazel mad, heard as it goes for stall, they would her, her anger, her, her Lutzio, who as Lutzio will go for fully pal thunder, her, as Ash will take it for Blazel, as, as all of their Pokemon were able to finish off her Lutzio, as Ash will, will, as Ash will catch Blazel and making it his fourth team member. How do you guys like this theory so far? You guys really seem to enjoy part one. Goodbye.